Okay, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed about your group and for the video to go onto the Mayor's Facebook. Can you please, for the video, tell us your name and the name of your group? Thank you very much for inviting me. My name is Jennifer Twist and I'm from Care for the Carers. Okay, good to have you here. Can you please briefly describe the work of Care for the Carers? Yes, we are the Carers Centre for East Sussex. Um, so we are here to support anybody uh, in the county who is looking after a relative or friend or potentially a neighbour. Um, somebody who couldn't manage without their support, and that could be because of ill health, a uh, range of other reasons, um, uh, but essentially th these are people who are caring for somebody unpaid that, that our organisation is here to support. Great, thank you, that's really clear. Now, how and why do you as an individual get involved with the group? Um, so my background uh, prior to joining Care for the Carers about 15 years ago um, was uh, in uh, supporting uh, the care of older people um, and so I had spent a lot of time working with uh, the families uh, of uh, older people considering residential care as well as supporting individuals themselves and, and so when I saw the work of Care for the Carers it really spoke out to me. Um, since then I've been a carer myself so you know there's a real personal connection for me. Okay that's good. So where is the organisation based and how many staff and volunteers work with you? We, uh, we have a base in Eastbourne um, but as I say we work all across the county and so we have um, groups and and various other things that take place uh, in all the main towns of the, of the county um, as well as online um, but uh, but yeah we have our office base and our carer center in in Eastbourne um, we have uh, 30 staff in the team and um, we now have over 300 volunteers working with us which is fabulous um, and uh, most of those people are ambassadors really spreading the word and then some of our volunteers undertake some really uh, you know, more intensive uh, roles with us, which is just great. How long have you been set up? When were you established? Care for the Carers was established uh, in 1989. So um, not too long ago, we celebrated our 30th anniversary. Um, and obviously, um, a very different organisation back then. I believe we started off um, in a, a GP surgery. Uh, we had a range of different partnerships and, and gradually have grown over the years. But fundamentally, um, always been the same, uh, the same role of the organisation to be here for anybody who is caring for someone in their family or, or a friend. Okay. Uh, the people you help, do you, I don't know whether you call them partners, service users, beneficiaries, whatever, whatever you call them, how many, how many of them do you help? Um, so we directly worked with over 9,000 carers last year um, uh, and we're, we're gradually uh, growing the number of, of people that we're working with, um, but we're always looking to reach and, and more carers. Uh, we know that there are probably around 70,000 carers now within East Sussex, so uh, we've got more work to do. Mm -hmm. Now, is there anything else you'd like to tell us about the organisation, about what you do and what you plan to do that perhaps wouldn't be covered in the questions I might ask you? Is there anything else yeah. that's significant you'd like to say? Just to say that it's really great to have um, the opportunity to have um, some additional profile, especially at this time. Um, the last year and a half has been particularly difficult for uh, unpaid carers uh, and for many people it's it's been an incredible struggle. Um, so we're really pleased that we've been able to increase the support we can offer uh, during the pandemic. Uh, so just really anybody who's watching this video I'd want to say please do tell people that we're here. Um, you know, we all know people who are caring for somebody uh, and uh, it often it often needs someone to say to you, no, no, you're, you're a carer, you're, you're looking after someone. It's not about people who do this as their job, it's, it's, for, it's there for you. So please do spread the word. 
Okay, that takes us nicely on to the next question in terms of what are your most urgent needs at this time in terms of volunteers, money, what kind of things? Um, well, one of the things um, really for us at the moment, obviously, we, we absolutely couldn't do the work that we do without the fabulous support that we get from uh, a lot of local people um, and also a number of trusts and foundations. So but we're always fundraising. We're always grateful for that support. And equally, we absolutely couldn't do what we do without the volunteers who give their time to um, help provide our services. Um, but coming back to what I was saying about about this year, um, it has been particularly difficult. And so the real priority for us now is to reach unpaid carers who maybe haven't heard about us mm -hmm. and uh, don't realise that there is support out there. Um, so it really is about the, the profile of the charity and um, the word of mouth that, you know, uh, kind of spreading of, of, of the message to say that if you are looking after somebody um, at home, it's not, you know, it, we often think, well, it's just that I'm, I'm his wife, I'm, I'm her father or or whatever, but actually there is support out there. It can be really challenging and uh, and we'd love to hear from you if you are a carer in East Sussex. Okay, that's good. Uh, so thank you for being part of this brief interview and we'll get this posted before too long. Uh, now, as part of the Mayor's Charities Initiative, we have an event on the 5th of September here in Seaford on the Martello Fields, uh, support our Seaford charities when all the groups who want to take part will get a free of charge pitch and whatever you raise on the day you would keep. So are you able to send some volunteers or some, some people along to have a stall for you? Absolutely. We're really delighted to have the opportunity. So we'll be there and um, look forward to seeing hopefully you on the day and anybody else who uh, pops along to say hello. But yeah, really looking forward to it. Thank you. Great. Okay, thank you. And I'll now... Come to stop the video.